Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome to the Oregon Zoo Live. My name's Steve. I'm the uh, reptile and fish keeper here at the zoo. And uh, this morning, we thought it might be fun for you guys to watch us feed the crocodile, um, something that typically happens only once a week here uh, during our regular operating hours. Um, so I'd like to introduce you to Morgan. Morgan's our uh, West African slender snout crocodile. Morgan was born uh, 1986 at the Miami Metro Zoo. And uh, she came here in 1991. So she's one of the uh, longer residents here at the Oregon Zoo. Um, you know, and one of the things about dealing with wild animals is sometimes they don't do everything we want them to do. So we're hoping that she'll come up for food, but uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see for sure. So Lillian's asking, how much does a crocodile weigh? Hey Lillian, so uh, Morgan's actually one of the smaller crocodiles. Um, and she only weighs about 160 pounds. Um, some crocodiles can, you know, push up to 2,000 pounds. Nora's asking, how long do they get? Uh, Nora, you know, uh, depending on the species or the sex, they can get between 7 and 11 feet long. Morgan's just about 7 and a half feet long. Emily's asking, what are you going to feed her? Emily, I'm going to give her a couple of fish and a couple of rats. So Signe is asking, What's her name, and uh, how did she get her name? <laughs> so, Sydney, her name's Morgan, um, and she got her name because when we first got our three crocodiles initially, they were Lance, Morgan, and Guinevere, and those are all uh, names out of the uh, King Arthur's Tales. Elliot's asking how long they live. Elliot, we don't know exactly how long they live. Um, we know that larger crocodiles can live to be about 100, um, and we know that there's some slender snout crocodiles that are at least 50. These guys aren't real well studied in the wild, so we don't know exactly, but probably between 50 and 70. Sean's asking, are they social or uh, more solitary? So, Sean, this species of crocodile is pretty social. They're found pretty condensed where in, the, in the African forest. Um, some crocodiles aren't very social, but you know, they, they do want to have their alone time also, though. Um, so, Nicole is asking, what's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Oh, that's a great question, Nicole. So, uh, the, the, the kind of the easy way to tell initially is if you look at their snouts, especially when you compare a slender snout of crocodile with an alligator. An alligator has a much wider snout, slender snout of crocodile has a much narrower. The one um, definitive way to tell, though, is that on an alligator, you can't see its lower tooth, if you count four tooth in from its nose, you can't see that fourth tooth. On a crocodile, you can see it. Brooks is asking how sharp their teeth are. Can you tell us a little bit more about her teeth? Sure, so Brooks, the, um, their teeth are pretty sharp. Um, they, they're, they shed their teeth throughout their life. Um, and they're, they're pretty sharp. They also, on their teeth, they're kind of serrated on the, on the sides. And they need to be like that in order to hold on to the fish that they catch in the wild, which is their primary uh, diet in the wild. So they have very sharp teeth. Ivy's asking, how do you stay safe when you're around here? Oh, Ivy, I have this. This is my social distance enforcement tool <laughs> that um, I also used to feed her with. But she's, you know, really, Morgan's more afraid of me than I am of her. Uh, you know, I'm much bigger than what she would consider a threat, um, a threat or a, a potential prey item. You know, these guys eat, you know, fish and then small mammals that come to the river. So, you know, thankfully she doesn't really view me as a potential prey. Lacey's asking, what's the difference between a boy and a girl crocodile for this species? You know, for this species, Lacey, the difference between a male and female is the males are much larger. A male crocodile, a male slender snout crocodile when he's adult, will be about between 11 and 13 feet long and weigh about five to 600 pounds. So Josie and a couple of other, uh, others are asking, where is, where is Morgan? Should we try to give, give Morgan a snack? Yeah, Josie, so that's the, uh, that, that's the challenge when we work with animals here at the zoo. Sometimes they don't do exactly what we want them to. I'm going to grab their food and we'll, uh, or grab her food and we'll see if she'll come over and, and take a couple of pieces of food from us, all right? Sounds good. Morgan! Steve, Liz is asking if crocodiles are in danger. So Liz, yeah, most crocodiles are in danger. Um, 
these guys are very endangered. And a lot of that is because we just don't know exactly how many there are in the wild. I'm going to go ahead and just throw this one in just to see if she'll go after it in the water. That looked like it helped. So, Hannah is asking how many crocodiles live here? Hannah, we only have one crocodile living here right now, uh, and she's very happy that it's that way, we think. Uh, you know, they don't require social interaction with other crocs, and so she gets to be spoiled by me as uh, much as possible. So Gwen is also asking over here, uh, how big is she? How much does she weigh and how, how long will she get? So she's about seven and a half feet long and weighs about 160 pounds. Um, she won't get much bigger than that. You know, she's, well, she was born in 1986. So she's, um, what's that make? 34 years old. So 44 years old. Someone will have to help me with the math out there. We're going to go around the side here and take a look underwater really quick and we'll be right back. So we might not be able to hear Steve for a little bit, but we're going to take a quick look at more. And everybody bear with us if the, if the internet signal is a little weaker right here. It's a little weaker it is here than above the water. So. Ashton is asking, how do you train crocodiles? You know, Ashton, the short answer is we capture her behaviors. So we know that she wants to eat this food. And so what I can do is I can kind of coordinate by doing this. This is kind of her signal where I want her to go for her food. See how she kind of comes over to it? And then when she gets there, I can reward her with her food. Rory's asking, where does this species live? So Rory, these uh, slender snout crocodiles are found in um, West Central Africa, in the Congo River Basin area. They kind of live in those, uh, like when you see movies with jungles and stuff in them, that's kind of their preferred habitat. Riley's asking what their skin feels like. Uh, their skin's tough. It's, it's uh, they're reptiles, so it's dry. Um, they've got uh, what we call osteoderms, which are like little bones that are actually inside of their skin uh, on their back and on their chest. So that helps protect them. Come on, Marty. Yeah. Lily's asking if they have any natural predators. You know, the, as juveniles, they're hunted by all sorts of things, wild cats, um, snakes, uh, large fish. As they get older, though, uh, they really don't have any predators other than man. You know, some pe people, they are hunted for both their skin and their meat. Steve, Jess is asking if you love your job. <laughs> Very much so. It's not, you know, um, I basically get to do, get paid to do what a lot of people would do for free. So I'm very fortunate. Chelsea is asking how long they can stay underwater. You know, we don't know exactly, but I do know at least three hours. Uh, I was tasked with uh, observing one of our crocodiles a few years back, and we actually we know that he was underwater for at least three hours. Ziva's asking how much she eats. Ziva, so she's a rep. Crocodiles are reptiles, so they don't need very much food. We give her about 1% of her body weight in food a week. So she weighs about 170 pounds, so we give her about almost one, well, almost two pounds, 1.7 pounds of food a week. Um, that would be like me eating two and a half pounds of food a week, which if you think about how much you eat, I'll bet it's way more than that. Carly's asking if they live in fresh water or salt water. Uh, these are freshwater crocodiles. That's a great question, Carly. Crystal, Crystal wants to know if, if Morgan has a last name. Morgan does not have a last name. 
Melissa wants to know what kind of fish uh, is Morgan eating? So Melissa, Morgan's eating, uh, these are herring. So these are uh, uh, caught herring for, that we use for animal food here at the zoo. Gavin's asking uh, if Morgan likes to be petted. <laughs> Gavin, I don't know. I'm, frankly, I don't really want to get close enough to her to find out. Josh is asking how fast can she swim? Uh, Josh, she can swim pretty fast, much faster than you or I can. Uh, they're very, you know, very agile in the water, you know, not so much on the land. Hannah wants to know where she sleeps. So Hannah, she's got a couple of different spots where she sleeps. Uh, over here, I don't know if you can see, but there's a heated area over here that she'll spend the afternoon nap time in. Um, overnight, she kind of hunkers down back here behind the tree where these bushes um, overhang. But crocodiles, they kind of sleep for short periods of time throughout the day. They don't really have a, a bedtime like us or, or that kind of thing. Lydia's asking about how crocodiles spend time on land and water. Can you tell us a little bit about how much time she spends? Sure, Lydia. So different species of crocodiles spend different amounts of time on the land. Most crocodiles spend most of their time in the water. You know, they're, they're designed to be in the water. Um, some are way more like, for instance, slunge snout crocodiles, very, not very uh, agile on land at all. They've got very short arms and legs. Um, so they basically, the only time they really leave the water is to uh, go up and make a nest or to maybe go up on, they do go up on land here at the zoo to, to defecate. And, um, but by and large, and, the, and then they'll go on the shore of the rivers to bask in the sun, but never very far away from water. Gavin's asking if this type of crocodile ever hurts or attacks people. Gavin, these, these crocodiles are not known to do that. Um, I would venture to guess that maybe in the wild, if somebody accidentally you know, ran into one or something, they might get uh, uh, defensively attacked. But they're not like the, the large crocodiles you see where people really have to worry. There, there are uh, people that go swimming in waters that, are, that have a lot of these crocodiles in them. So they're not really much of a threat to people. Miley's asking, how much do you love Morgan? Miley's asking how much yeah. I love Morgan. I love Morgan a lot. You know, me and Morgan have worked together. See, I've known Morgan since 1996. So we've kind of grown up around here at the zoo together. Well, we'll take one, one last question from Sarah. Is why do crocodiles have such big mouths? <laughs> Sarah, so if you have a big mouth, right, you can eat bigger stuff. And the whole, you know, one of the main things about reptiles is they don't ever really know when their next meal is coming. So they, you know, want as much food as they can whenever they can get it. Um, when she, when Morgan's hungry, she will eat and eat and eat. We uh, you know, have to limit how much food she gets. All right, you guys, thanks for joining us here at Oregon Live. Um, hope you had fun and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you back here at the zoo soon.